we want to welcome everybody today to Mom and Dad Talk, where our favorite two people are Mom and Dad, and they're not here today. But <laughs> <laughs> we have a, a special guest here today, my wife, the lovely Swayla Hunt here. And today, hey, say hello, Swayla. Tell everybody hello, Swayla. Hello, everyone. Oh, she's always happy there. So <laughs> today we're going to talk about, this is an interesting subject here, because you know I think you're going to understand where we're coming from. NBA agents across the league cheered Narlin's Knowles lawsuit this week against power broker Rich Paul of Clutch Sports. Now, if you don't mm. know, Rich Paul mm. is widely known as one of the most influential agents right now in basketball. He has lots of star clients, including LeBron James, who he has a close mm. relationship with. And, you know, uh, everybody remembers that conversation he had with Rachel Nichols. So this guy's just getting attacked all over the place. But Noel claims that Rich Paul is responsible for $58 million in lost earnings. So <clears throat> what he's saying is, is this. I hope I break this down correctly here. He said $70 million was offered to him from the Mavericks in 2017. Mm-hmm. And this was negotiated by Rich Paul under his direction. But then Rich Paul said, you know what? Uh, I think you can get richer. I think you can get more money out of this deal. And New Orleans No said, you know what? I'm going to take the thing and bet on myself, the bet on yourself tactic. Well, it didn't work out for him. And so he lost like $58 million, lost wages. So now he's suing him. Which he's blaming, right? Which he's blaming, which he's blaming here. And so seemingly, you know, they're hoping this doesn't go to court because it's really going to be uphill battle for Nolan's Noel to do this. And, you know, my thought is... You know, there's a lot of bad contracts that get signed. Mm. Um, and I, for me, I'm saying to myself, you know, at the end of the day, this falls on you. Exactly. And can I just come yes, in right yes, in there? Come in, please come in. <clears throat> this definitely falls in on you. You know, we love you. But at the end of the day, it's all about ownership. It's all about taking responsibility for your D. Oh, my. That's what this is all about. I, I, you know, I, I hear the pain. I feel the pain. And when we go through these things, it hurts. You know, we're, we're, we're hoping that, that, um, you know, we try to listen to, to advice. But the thing about it is, is that it's advice. It, it's not your decision. And at the end of the day, he was, Paul was trying to, you know, give some some ideas advice but at the end of the day it's your choice bro you gotta you know and all of us gotta realize that you know right (laughs) you make a great point i mean unfortunately i hear bad advice every day on the job right okay now i can either take that person's bad advice but i'm in charge Mm-hmm. Most people don't, like you said, Sway, the great point, don't take ownership, but you're in charge. You listen to a person and they gave you bad advice. That's right. Now, I can blame that guy saying, man, you gave me bad advice. Or I can say, you know what? What made me decide to take that bad advice and go with it? That's it's right. A learning lesson. And, you know, it may not be bad at all. Maybe just that the chips didn't fall correctly, right? It's almost like people don't take a personal assessment. And Sway, can you expound on that? Because I think, you know, as a life coach there, I don't want you to give us a life coaching session per se. Yeah, that won't be. You know, that's a, that's a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, that. yeah, no, we won't. But you know, I'm actually going to use something that mm-hmm. you know um, you have said in our home all the time, and that is that you really have to assess if the, all the things in the situation, and then you say. Is this the best decision for this time, for this moment? And that is something that's really stuck with me. Before you make a decision, you have to go and look at everything. Make sure you're making a clear crystal decision Mm. and not just some emotional decision, Mm. you know, but make sure you have done your homework and, and really seen maybe is it possible to even get more money than 70 million in COVID? I mean, maybe is it possible to, to even, um, you know, do I need an 
new agent or, or whatever the case or whatever, but we need to look at everything before we make a decision and make sound decisions. Mm -hmm. That that's that's what I would really say. Think about it. Don't make emotional decisions. Mm -hmm. I, that's well said, uh, Swayla. I mean, you know, I, I think, I think, you know, hey, I, you know, we all bet on ourselves. You know, I'm mm -hmm. gonna get a better job, and I tried it before. I'm gonna get a better job. Didn't get a better job at that point. Yeah. Right, because of the circumstance and situation. However, I'm not blaming the advice who I got from. You know, man, you need to go out there. I would quit if I were you. Well, mm -hmm. I did quit that day, and them <laughs> people like, man, I wouldn't have quit if I were you. So, you made that dumb call. At the end of the day, I made that call. You did it. I mean, That's I made it. the call and trusted the advice. And, and the thing about it is, is, you know, I think a lot of people want to blame people for things instead of take responsibility for their own decision, how they make things. I like how you said that so eloquently and, and say, you know what, at the end of the day, I'm making this decision. And then one more thing, two more things, positive intention. OK, mm -hmm. look, at, look at the situation and go, OK, so maybe if it busted up, say, what is the positive intention from this? Mm -hmm. You know, look at that. And also don't be the victim. Mm. Say, you know, live in victorhood, not victimhood. That's, that's, that's my whole thing. Mm -hmm. And say to yourself, you know, it didn't happen to me. It happened for me. Mm. I, like that, I mean, you know, so, so it happened for you. That, that, you know, you didn't get the contract you were trying to get mm -hmm. and try to look and see maybe why it didn't. Don't look, be victim and go, oh, I didn't get it. So now I'm trying to sue people, you know? Yeah. And I'm not trying to, to, to talk about you uh, because I know that, you know, it hurts when you feel like you should be getting more and then mm -hmm. you don't get more and then you listen to some. I get that point, but don't live in the victimhood, mm -hmm. you know? Let's... Look at the positive intentions that could come out of this and look at what you can learn, the life lessons, and move forward and live in resilience. Mm. That's what this is about, mm. live in resilience. Thank you for that coaching session. We didn't even ask for that today. Thank you for that. <laughs> Yeah, she's a wonderful coach, life coach. You Thank can hit you. her up here. Total Discoveries, I believe. Total Discoveries. Total discoveries, if you need some coaching, folks, you get some excellent coaching here. But what I'm saying, folks, is this. At the end of the day, it's your decision to make. That's right. And I think the power of a decision is one of the most powerful things you can do in the world. See, when someone makes a decision on you and you don't can't make one, that's different. You're forced. And that situation is totally different. You had no choice in the matter. Mm-hmm choice in the matter and turns out right or wrong because if this thing would have turned out right for him he would have been all happy yeah oh, but that's unfortunately right. this time it was bad and i tell people all the time there's gonna be a time where i will be wrong but think about how many things went right before you think about oh man this one thing went wrong because i really think a lot of people live in the past i have some some people i know that they can't get past what happened to them in eighth grade they can't that's it in high school or can't get past what happened in college or that moment and that moment in time for the rest of their life, unfortunately, and there's some horrible things that happen, right? Has bound them on the, on the things that they could enjoy. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying belittling or anything like that, folk, nothing like that. What I'm saying is we got to acknowledge what happened to us. That's that right. Happened to all of us to a certain degree, some horrible, some not so, whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, folk, we still have the choice to be happy. We still have the choice to say, you know what? And, uh, you know, I'm going to make the best out of it. And we're all dealing with pain from various levels and stuff. Mm -hmm. Resilience. And I like how you said that. The resilience of saying, you know what? I'm going to learn from this and get stronger and better. That's it. Well, That's it. And we have to accept that we're not, it's not always going to be yes. To, to, to live your life and feel like, everything is going to come out yes and positive no it's not so we have to learn to accept no's think rejection we have to learn to accept it but but accept it gracefully mm, that that's what we really have to learn it'll give us permission to have it, we'll have joy Mm -hmm. you know, in the, in those situations. So the power of decision, just remember you guys, 
The power of decision is this, understanding and knowing that it may happen or it may not happen, but despite whatever, you're still going to walk with joy. That's, mm. that's what this whole thing is, okay? The drop the mic moment. Till next time my mom and dad talks. Yeah, good job there. Swayla. Thank you. Thanks for having me, Coach. Yes, great. always a pleasure having you. And whatever, hope mom and dad are okay. I know they're doing something this afternoon, Coach. They... Something powerful, we <laughs> know. We know. <laughs> so anyway, we will find out what happened to them and let you guys know next week. <laughs> they're going to be okay. Don't worry, America. Yeah, yeah. We're we'll, we'll, we'll going to make sure that all right. This is <laughs> a phone call yet. So don't worry. We're going to check out it, folks, and check out mom and dad. Till next time. We'll see you on Mom and Dad Talks, and uh, have a blessed day.